Here we are with Beast Tamer episode 1. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more or if you like what you see, if you like it or not. Um, but yeah, all I know about this is basically it's about taming beasts, I guess, based on the name. I didn't re really watch any trailers or anything. So we will see how it goes. But yeah, like I said, I guess it's about taming beasts and that are the girls. So we see what else it has to offer. So yeah, let's get to the episode. Two girls, okay, and a baldy. Okay, they don't look happy. That's all, boy. From what? What is his job? Tamer? So, I guess he was part of a party, it seems like. As what we don't know, I guess, yet. And they don't like him anymore. Maybe they're not satisfied with this, with what he does. <clears throat> Interesting opening sound. And I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Yep, the beginning was good, and now it's like, yeah. I don't know, this is, for me, I'm not really a fan of songs that are like poppy, like pop shit. Okay, so he does some fisting. And we get twins, a dragon girl, a cat girl, and another fox girl, I guess. Okay. Two elves. Or fairies? Of course, it's the hero party, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we don't need you anymore. You're kind of useless. And then he becomes the strongest of them all with his beasts that he tames. You're weak. Damn. Yeah, I mean, why do they took him into the party? What the fuck? What?
<laughs> yeah, so it's basically the typical sad story at the beginning, right? I mean, this is not the first hero party that kicks someone out, right? Because he's weak. And he never realized that they didn't like him. They're always complaining and he's like, oh yeah, you must be pranking when you say that you want to kick me out now. <clears throat> yeah, but why even take him then if he's so useless? They kicked me out. Nice party tricks. <laughs> can you make permanent contracts? And if you can, is, is there a limit? Interesting that interesting that these kids don't like the heroes. But normally the kids always like the heroes. But I mean normally the heroes are nice. But these here seem like douches. I guess it makes sense. They are the big heroes. They don't deal with pesky little adventurers. He's useless. I don't know, man. I feel like Beast Hammer has potential, right? I mean, I don't know how it works, really, right? So...
<laughs> well, at least he can fight goblins, right? <clears throat> Cat girl, I would assume, right? Yep, cat girl and a big ass tiger. Can you tame him? This is only D rank, and it already can kill adventurers easily. I mean, not all adventures, right? But some. So I guess you can't tame any monster, I guess. <laughs> Maybe because it's too strong for him. Yeah. Hurricane kick, somersault. That's a big impact. <laughs> Why did she even run away if she can't just beat him with one kick? Is she sleeping now? Rest mode. Ultimate species. Dragon, Dragonoids, mm -hmm. he gets one of those. Fairies, he gets two of those. It's a cat. <laughs> cat spirit. Of course. He catches her. Okay, I guess that's why she didn't fall the tire because she was hungry. <clears throat> so can he tame her? I mean, he couldn't tame the big tiger, and she's stronger than the tiger and, like, some ultimate species, right? So can he tame her?
Yeah, but they're dicks. Of course. Such meanies! You're what? You're love at first sight. Pet the cat. <laughs> okay, she likes it. Hidden potential? Okay, why? Details. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can tame me, you can like take the wrong way, right? <laughs> I mean, for different types of animes, right? He has to unglove for it? Oh, okay. So this is a different type of contract, like I guess the lasting one, and that's why he needs blood for it. And she's like, nope, sucker. <laughs> I'm the most interested in the dragon girl, I think, the red haired one. I think this is quite weird. <laughs> Very weird, I would say. Mm hmm I got kicked out of the hero's party, now I get a harem party. <laughs> of beasts, ultimate beasts, species.
whatever. Let's see the ending. But yeah, I have to say it's quite weird, right? They just met, and it's been just a few minutes. Maybe like, let's say an hour or so, I would say. But probably not more than an hour. And she is immediately like, yeah, try to tame me. A lasting contract, basically. A lasting thing that is not something you can just undo, I guess. Right? And she's just like from just meeting him. Yeah. Let's do it. Pay me. No second thought or anything. I mean, yeah, I get it. She likes him and he saved her and all that stuff. But I feel like it's a bit sudden, right? <laughs> Something so big that is lasting, I guess, pretty much maybe forever. I don't know. And she's just like, yeah, let's do it. I guess you can do it. What if only the first impression was good? And then, like a day or two later, it turns out, oh my god, this is a complete asshole. <laughs> I don't like him. Just because he had one good day where he wasn't a complete asshole, I just bonded with him, basically. And now, I'm stuck... <laughs> I need flowers, I need herbs. <clears throat> oh no, he has another pet now! He is already cheating on me. Oh no, a gangbang! <laughs> Yeah, right. <clears throat> so does he just expect that everyone can do it or can everyone do it where he comes from? Okay, hey, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. If you liked it or not, if you want to see more or not. Um, first impressions didn't grab me so far. I mean, yeah, it's just the first episode. You can't really judge a book by its cover or an anime by its first episode. So I will definitely watch more, like maybe one, two, three more episodes or something and see how it goes. Um, if I like it or not. Um, or if you like it or not. And, but yeah, first impression didn't really grab me. I feel like there's so far lots of cliche stuff going on, right? Someone seems weak, is in the hero party, gets kicked out because he's weak, then turns out, oh, he has a lot of potential and is not so weak as he seemed to be. Um, but we also don't know much, right? I mean, the most interesting part right now about this is basically just one thing, and that is what is his potential right is because she said Kanade said it's not something normal that you can tame her and then you can just do temporary contracts with one or multiple um beasts um and give them like complex con uh, 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 commands um but he said <clears throat> that that's normal where he comes from so it's a question does he just assume that it's normal where he comes from? Or does he actually know that it's normal where he comes from? 
that's like basically the biggest question and that's basically just because we don't know much about it how this whole contract work thing work, works right i mean we he has a temporary contract and then, then the lasting contract where we also don't know if that's something he can undo or if the bond now the lasting contract is lasting basically forever until maybe one of both dies right um which like i said in this episode i feel like it's kind of weird that they just met and Canada is immediately like yeah i guess you can tame me let's do it a lasting contract basically that might last forever like i just said so i feel like that i felt that was a bit rushed i would say because like i said they just met it's been maybe like an hour or so and she's immediately like yeah pay me like i said maybe it turns out that he's a complete douche and he just had a good day where he seemed nice and then she's like oh i don't like him anymore um but yeah then she's stuck with him i mean we know that that won't happen but just as an example why it's a bit he was a bit rushed or hasty um but yeah i mean he is a typical nice guy main character right and she's a typical nice girl main character with lots of yeah and so yeah otherwise there wasn't much interesting stuff going on right the beginning with the hero stuff heroes are douches even the kids don't really like him because they don't seem nice when they go to them he's a nice guy we get a nice east girl he has potential from what it seems like more than any other tamer mm. and so yeah <clears throat> i'm definitely looking forward the most to the dragon girl i just assume that the red hair uh, red hair girl is a dragon that she's a dragonoid right because she has the horns and she's red which many dragons are <laughs> i would say um but yeah i mean it seems like these ultimate species have lots of potential right i mean she just beat a d-class tiger that even some adventurers could die against what did he say exactly what did he say i didn't pay it complete attention when that happened where is it uh a bit too far a bit too far d rank monster killer tiger even a veteran adventurer could be killed by one of these if they weren't careful so even like experienced adventurers can die if they are not careful against this and this is only d class and it goes to s i think s to f um <clears throat> and she just beat it with her last strength not full strength just the last strength because she didn't add any food for like days or whatever so she was kind of weak at this point i guess and that's why she didn't fought it in the first place but yeah <clears throat> with her last strength she just one shot that guy so it seems like there's a lot of potential and i would i could assume or would assume that the dragon girl might be even stronger because dragons are often like a very strong race right so i could see that she maybe has lots of destructive power if she is the dragonoid um and then he also gets the fox spirit i guess and the two fairies so yeah the i mean the ultimate species are have are very strong from the get-go from what he said and then he has so many of them that's a lot of power i would say but yeah, otherwise I feel like this might be like more one of those chill anime right good vibe, uh, good vibes and all that stuff not too much action i would guess uh, we probably won't go after the demon lord or anything it probably will be more like let's help the smaller folks right let's help some people some villagers that need help and just have like good vibes for the most part i guess um but yeah first episode like i said didn't really grabbed me so far i have to wait for the next few episodes i guess and see how it goes and yeah see if i like it or not and like i said you can let me know too if you liked it or not 
and if you want to see more or not so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye